everyone, it's Amanda here with your August 2017 Rune Scope. And for those of you who may not know, August does mark my fourth year here on YouTube, which I can hardly believe, but I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you who have been with me from the start for continuing to, to support my channel uh, and subscribing and uh, to all of my regular clients out there. Thank you so much uh, for choosing me to read for you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for watching me. I do encourage you to watch uh, my previous month's videos if it's your first, uh, you know, first time stopping by here because uh, then you can see how accurate my readings are for you. Um, you know, there, when I first started, there were uh, some astrologers on YouTube, but really only a few people doing tarot readings and no one was reading rooms at all. So um, now it's like, you know, exploded. So. Um, that's how I kind of choose who I watch. My time is precious. I know yours is too. So uh, yeah, I encourage you to go back and see uh, if my videos are resonating with you, if they've been accurate. And uh, if they are, please do subscribe to my channel. That way you will get my videos each month delivered directly to your feed. Uh, and you won't have to go searching for me. This month in conjunction with the runes, I will be using the Golden Tarot by Cat Black. Then always do join me, over, as always, join me over on my Vimeo channel for part two of this reading. I will be pulling one card this month from the Astrological Oracle Cards by Antonella Caselli for your spiritual guidance for the month of August. And uh, it's always amazing how these uh, cards, I usually use those in my private readings, but um, how they line up with the astrological events happening for the given month. And I know we've got some eclipses going on in August, so you'll definitely want to check that out. The link is below. Just click or tap show more or the little arrow beneath the video if you're on a mobile device. And uh, you can follow the link over there. Your mid-year uh, room scopes are over there as well, covering the rest of the year. So if you want a longer term view, it's a full reading available for, for uh, purchase over there. On Vimeo. So, but that being said, again, thanks so much for supporting the RuneScopes channel and on to your August reading. Hey Pisces, welcome to your August RuneScope. Let's jump in and see which runes I want to speak to you first of all. About August 2017 for my Pisces. What's going to help you most in August? Pisces, August. Now they're being picky for Pisces. There it is. As always, Pisces, do keep in mind that these are general readings, so not all of these messages will apply specifically to you. The intensity of the energies we talk about will vary as well. Um, if you would like something far more specific, uh, you can schedule a Skype consultation with me. They are $70. Just uh, contact me at runescopes 4 you at gmail.com. The email address above and uh, below the video here, and we can set that up for you. But let's see what we've got here. You are the third reading to get the 10 of cups as your outcome for August. So I'm going to start there because obviously there's something going on with that. Okay. I, 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 Aries got it. Sag got it. And, uh, I'm trying to remember if Leo got it too, but I, you know, that's pretty amazing. Oh, what's going on there? But I, it's good to know, I think, that uh, at the end of August, no matter what happens before then, I mean, it doesn't get better than that, and the runes around this as well are pretty spectacular. So let's dive in. Your challenge or focus. We've got uh, the Knight of Cups coming up. This also came up for Sagittarius, I believe. So this is a uh, water sign energy. It could be you. You are a water sign Pisces. If it's not you, it could be um, another Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. So what's coming up with this person with the challenge is um, things hidden with Pedro here. Secrets, skeletons in the closet, m mystery. 
coming up around this person. Um, or you being <laughs> holding back and um, Pietro can mean secrets coming out that we didn't want revealed um, or someone else's secrets coming up that they don't want revealed. So yeah, now if this is you, um, you could be wanting to make like an emotional overture to someone. You could be wanting to kind of declare your feelings for someone. This can also be sometimes an apology for past mistakes, past transgressions as it were. But you, your challenge may be like, you know, the, the, like I don't know how it's gonna turn out or I don't wanna reveal that. I, I feel vulnerable revealing those feelings. So there's some kind of declaration that either you or someone else may be making. And if it's someone else making the declaration, your challenge is, well, you know, can I believe this? There's something with where that you feel like there's more. That's probably your intuition talking there, Pisces. You feel like there's more going on underneath the surface or that you don't know or that you know you you feel like that is um you can't accept this or you don't know if you could accept this apology or, or let this person back in because you don't, you just given past experience, you don't know if you can trust them. You don't know if the, you're getting the whole story. Um, this doesn't have to be a romantic connection, but that's the first way it's coming in. So for the majority of you, it, it probably is. This is either someone that you've met recently or uh, someone from the past. Uh, that maybe you were in a romantic relationship with. But it could be anybody, uh, a friend, a family member, somebody that you were really close to, wanting to reconnect, um, or you kind of wondering if that's what you should do, if you should make yourself vulnerable and either apologize or reveal your feelings in some way to someone. So, uh, there are worse challenges to have, I feel. I, you know, I, I think you're just kind of contemplating that. And if you're receiving a message in August or if you received one in July, I think you're just trying to get your bearings and figure out what's, uh, what's going on with that. Um, the present energy, uh, July moving into August, uh, unfortunately, is not the best. We do have Seven of Swords. So, um... You could feel like someone's trying to take something away from you, trying to take someone away from you, or, um... And yeah, you, you may just feel like you're stuck in this cycle of loss. Uh, but yeah, Seven of Swords is also, though, kind of going back to this. Someone who is being sneaky, someone who is being, um... or who has in the past been sneaky, been deceptive, uh, been less than honest. Uh, maybe there was some betrayal that went on. So I feel like for many of you, this is going back to the, your challenge, whoever this person is. It's like, you're very suspicious of their motives, suspicious of their, uh, you know, is what they're saying true. And I do feel like for many of you, that's what this is because, because. Uh, uh, Thurisaz is here. This is Thor's rune, but in the reverse, it, it it's like this would be repeating a lesson. Like, do I even want to, you know, I could lose more again, you know, I, this person really, maybe this relationship really took a toll on you emotionally or really you feel took a lot away from you. And it was, it was a life lesson. You learned a lot from it, but now you're like, <laughs> Did I learn enough to not repeat this lesson? Am I, that's what I feel like you're questioning Pisces. Like, am I supposed to tie up loose ends? Is there still some karma left to complete here with this person? Or am I, be, you know, or would I just be repeating the lesson? And um, again, that with these general readings, it's hard for me to tell because it will be different for all of you. For some of you, it may very well be that you would be repeating the lesson. Um, for others of you, it could be that, you know, the timing was just wrong before. He's coming up in the upright. So, for most of you, and it could be a woman as well, for those of you that date women or those of you that this is a female family member or friend, 
offering an apology or trying to uh, reconnect. Um, in the upright, this person's intentions are good, but whether they have the follow through to back that up remains to be seen with Pedro there. Pedro in reverse is uh, a little bit worrisome. We've got Pedro in reverse and we also have the devil card on the table. So that, there's a strong sexual chemistry here, a strong physical attraction, um, but also karmic as well, I feel, for, uh, for many of you here. So, um, Esau is here indicating that, you know, don't feel rushed to make a decision here. I, I feel like you can, um, Take your time with this and, and weigh things out and wait until you feel ready and, and uh, happy with a, with a decision here. Um, maybe you need more information. Maybe you have to wait until more is revealed about this person's motives, right? Or, or um, And some of you may just have to be like, no, I, I, I know that this person's trouble, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to avoid this altogether. Now the help coming in for you is uh, Seven of Wands in reverse. And Fehu in reverse and Uru. So let's see what we got here. Let me see what we're getting here. Well, I feel like you're no longer having to, um, those of you that have been having a struggle with money or, um, again, kind of along with the seven of swords, it, it's maybe you just were going through a period where you felt like everybody was just taking from you monetarily. Maybe it was like, you just went through a period where it was like, oh my God, no matter what I do, I can't win for losing when it comes to money. It's, you know, I, I, you know, maybe you had a lot of debt to catch up on or, you know, you were, you missed some payments or we're having to rob Peter to pay Paul. It felt like, you know, no matter what you did, you couldn't bring in enough money to, to make ends meet, to pay everybody. And we're constantly having to, <laughs> Defend yourself against people trying to take your money and charge you fees and, and, and take advantage of you and all that kind of stuff. Um, Uru's indicates that uh, you are you are like over it. <laughs> Anybody who tries to take advantage of you, especially financially, or uh, charge you for things that, you know, charges you, you know, there's so many like BS fees these days. Um, you're going to be fighting. And I've been going through this myself with uh, with YouTube here. Since Google took over YouTube, it's been kind of, uh, you know, they really have, I, I don't know, it seems like they want their creators to leave. <laughs> They're doing everything they can to, to make it really um, not beneficial to, to put the work into these videos. So... I'm feeling that. That's but that's the feeling that I'm get that I'm getting here. It's a similar issue. It's like you know, I am sick and tired of uh, maybe especially big corporations like that. You know, acting like they're not getting enough money, really, and taking from the little guy. So there's something, and for some of you, this could be a cause that's bigger than yourself that you are fighting against. You could be protesting something in August, having to do with big corporations or out and out thievery. But you are, um, there's also an element of um, a deal or person that should be avoided that you, again, going back to this, you, you see it and you're not going to struggle with it. You're going to give up the, the struggle. So for some of you. Um, those of you that are wanting to leave a job or, uh, 
I feel like somebody is like, and this may be specific for just one or two of you out there, but it seems like you, like a boss or someone may be kind of pressuring you into taking a new position or moving up into a position that you just don't want. You know it's like the not the right fit for you. You know that that position is overworked and underpaid and you're not about it. You're not about it. So yeah, for some of you, it could be avoiding a position or avoiding a job that you know is bad news or a person that you know is uh, is bad news. But I do feel like you're gonna fight for what's right. You are going to, like, for many of you, you've already done this though. Like you've stood up for yourself, you fought the good fight, and you're, you know, you should not have to do it anymore, especially when it comes to uh, financial things, property, possessions, anything that you own. Um, anybody trying to t take something from you should really look out when Uru's is there. Those of you that have been dealing with health issues, for some of you, maybe this wasn't a money issue so much as a health issue, vitality issue. Um, Uru's indicates there can be a, a recovery and you'll no longer be struggling or fighting something off. You'll, you'll go into a period of remission or you'll get your energy back or the treatments that you've started maybe that were draining you before will start to work. Um, what must be accepted? Again, the, the double card is here. So, um, and I do feel like for you, this is talking about temptation. This is talking about the temptation to repeat a lesson already learned to go back. Again, I think linked to this person who, um, yeah, but yeah, again, the, the, the pull is very strong to repeat something, repeat a lesson. And either th way that you choose, whether you choose to, to go back to this or to bypass it and not do that again, um, either way, it's gonna change your life uh, forever. I'm not saying you can't talk to this person. I'm not saying you can't, you know, have a discussion. But I, I feel like for most of you, and I feel like many of you are gonna need that just to make a decision here, to decide if that's what you wanna do. Um, But for many of you, um, you're gonna know it's a bad idea because before, before it completely changed your life, but maybe not for the better. You know, it was difficult. It was trying. It was it was a uh, maybe the physical aspect of this relationship was good, but it, 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 it the betrayal you never got over. That's what I feel like for many of you. It's a betrayal you never got over here. Whether it was a romantic partner, um, a friend, a family member, for some of you, maybe it's a theme that's repeated in a lot of different relationships because, you know, um, any type of relationship is a karmic contract, right? I mean, we have karma that we're working out with these people. So you may have found that there's a pattern there and you're trying to not repeat those patterns. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like here this is a temptation. Um, this could also be a temptation uh, when it comes to addiction. Addiction can be to a person, but it could also be yeah the temptation to uh, you know drink or smoke or you know if you do, take drugs or whatever. If you've had a problem with that, again going back to this, it could be like you know. Maybe you just got out of treatment and you know, there may be a temptation to, to relapse here. Um, maybe this person's still, still addicted and they're trying to draw you back in. But I feel like for many of you, it's more of like a relationship based. But the outcome is fantastic because you have the 10 of cups. So whatever you're struggling with by the end of August, there is celebration, there is reward, there is emotional satisfaction. So, um, and new beginnings and manners, which is interdependence support. This is family support, friends support. Um, it could be an event like a family reunion, um, a coming together of uh, a lot of people. So, um, I 
And this comes about if you refuse, take the advice and refuse to be taken advantage of. Pisces. That's what I get here. And when you're dealing with somebody with this kind of energy or who even used to have that kind of energy, that's a risk, right? There's a risk that you could get taken for a ride or especially if that's happened before. So um, just be aware and I think you are. I think you're very aware. I think that's why uh, these runes and these cards are coming up specifically. It's like, I, I, these more, na like the devil and the seven of swords, again, I feel like this is all mostly going back to the past. It's all about a past situation and someone who brings all of that up for you again. And maybe you haven't thought about it in a while, but then this person contacts you and all of a sudden it's right there in front of you again and it's like a revisit. And the, these feelings kind of well up to the surface, not just the, the you know, the negative stuff, but also the, the, the good stuff, the physical attraction, the physical chemistry. The, so that's why, you know, that's why it's a temptation, right? If it didn't feel good, it wouldn't be tempting. But um, you end the month on a fantastic note. Uh, there may also be an announcement of a new beginning in the family, like uh, someone getting married or um, those of you that are already in a relationship and this is just somebody, you know, coming back to stir up stuff from the past. Um, it could be that you're getting married and this person kind of pops out of nowhere. It's kind of like a, that's like a movie. They always show up at the wedding or whatever, right? Um, but yeah, there seems to be an announcement. For many of you, it's the birth of a baby or uh, yours or someone in the family announcing a pregnancy um, and everybody being really excited about that and, 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 and uh, coming together for a celebration of that. And um, whatever this is that you're struggling with, I feel like you have people close to you who will offer you support, offer you excellent advice with no judgment. Um, it seems like you have some really good people in your circle that you can count on if you're feeling confused by you know, what's going on and the temptations uh, in your life here. But you're gonna be celebrating a new beginning at the end of August. And uh, I mean, this is the card of joy. So it's just feeling pretty sweet. I mean, this is the day, you know, this is the day where you're kind of just like walking around and you can't help but sing. And so I don't think that you're gonna have a negative month at all. I just think that um, you're, you're uh, reminiscing about the past due to uh, someone from the past coming up or coming back around and, and it brings up those old feelings and emotions for you. But that's what I see here, Pisces. Do meet me over on Vimeo for uh, your spiritual guidance. I'm going to pull, again, one card from the Astrological Oracle. I wanna focus on the Devil card and uh, the Seven of Swords, see what, you know, what's, whatever's hidden here. I wanna see if we can get some more information about this challenge. Um, and with the Astrological Oracle, it's really, uh, it can really kind of narrow down some time frames as, opposed, as far as like, you know, what's gonna be going on in the month of August astrologically. And uh, even like, you know, who this is and maybe their sun sign. So meet me over there, we'll see what we get. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you back here next time.